Hey guys, welcome back to Yoga with Leona, your site for everything about yoga and breast cancer recovery. Thanks for joining me today. I thought I would put together a short tutorial about arm shape modifications or variations um, for those of us who have a lot of tightness in our chest or shoulders. Maybe you're just kind of still healing from your surgery or radiation, or maybe you've got complicated lymphedema that sort of you know, affects your range of motion. And, you know, I mentioned briefly often in my full yoga asana practices, you know, feel free to adjust your arm shape in any way you need. But I thought I'd go through in a little more detail some of those modifications for any of you who are kind of not sure what to do or you're struggling with that a little bit. Okay, so we will work through uh, mostly some standing poses today and then maybe I'll make another video on some uh, modifications to do on the lying down poses for the same issue. So. The first thing is really just about how we approach our practice in the first place. So the very most important thing for you to understand is that it's okay. Wherever you are today is where you're supposed to be. And that's where you're practicing today. And the first thing we have to do is, is um, establish this sort of connection to ourselves that isn't judgmental, you know, that isn't frustrated with where we are and how we're healing. Um, we need to develop a little bit of a relationship of loving kindness with ourself and understand that our body has developed whatever scar tissue and whatever tightness that it has for a reason, because it's trying to heal from what we've been through. And so to have a little bit of a sort of a respect for our body and, and a love and an understanding that our body is doing the best it can. And so we're going to learn to really try to connect and to listen and to feel what our body is doing today and to work within that space. So we're always working within our comfortable range of motion, never pushing our body into a certain shape if it causes pain. And that's such a gift of the yoga practice actually is to really help us become connected, to reconnect deeply with our bodies in a way that's loving and understanding. And so that's the first tip is always do what feels right to you. But let me give you some options today and just kind of show you a, a range of different modifications that you might try to see what works best for your body. All right, so the first thing we're gonna work at is, um, you know, often in my practices, we start uh, with a little warm up and then we work through some sun salutations. And we often modify our sun salutations using either a chair or some blocks. So I'm going to show you these shapes in both of those situations so that whichever one you're using, you'll know what to do. So very often in our sun salutations, we inhale and stretch our arms all the way to the sky. So this is the first place where we might need a modification, right? So I know when I was healing from my surgery and radiation, I couldn't get my arms all the way up let alone all the way back by my ears. That's just not expected when you've got some scarring and some tightness. So what are some options? So we start with our hands at our heart, right? The very first option, if you've got a lot of tightness, might be just to barely lift the arms up. So maybe the lower uh, arms and elbows don't even come parallel to the floor, but that would be a perfectly fine place to start. And we would look like this. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees as you swoop forward to grab your chair. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, sit your hips down. And then inhale, rise all the way up back to that same position. And exhale, hands to your heart. All right, so if you've got a ton of tightness and that's what you can do today, that's what you do today. And slowly over time, your body will likely open up and you'll be able to push just a little touch further. So maybe You've got a little more openness and you can inhale, stretch the arms up a little bit. Maybe elbows come parallel to the floor or maybe just slightly higher. And maybe this is where you go, All right? So this is a perfectly good option. Maybe you go a little higher, inhale, stretch up. You could separate the hands if that feels more comfortable to you. Anywhere on the spectrum between here and all the way up is a perfectly good option. So let's look at a sort of in-between option. We might inhale, stretch our arms up. They come maybe two thirds of the way up. And then we exhale, hinge forward. You can reach for your chair or your blocks. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, sit the hips down, look forward. 
And then inhale, bring those arms up wherever they reach comfortably. And exhale, hands to your heart. Good. Now, another option for you, depending on your shoulders, might be to have the arms a little wider. So maybe your arms prefer this shape over this kind of a thing, depending on what's going on in your chest wall. So maybe yours looks more like this. Inhale, stretch the arms up. And the arms come out into like a, a slight cactus shape. And then we exhale, hinge forward, grab your chair. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, sit down, look forward. And inhale back to that cactus shape. And hands to your heart. So one important thing here, if you, uh, like most of us, have more effect on one side of your chest than the other, in this situation, during the sun salutations, I would tend to try to keep the two arms symmetric. So if one of your arms only comes, say, to here, instead of reaching the other arm all the way up and getting a little bit of asymmetry through your spine, I would keep them both in the same level here. Now I'll show you in a second, when we get to the other poses, you'll get to stretch the, the, the more open arm more fully and you'll get that good uh, range of motion through that side. So for the sun salutation part, I would keep both arms uh, symmetric. All right, now let's, uh, let's work into a couple more poses. So then what we do, once we've done some sun salutations and gotten warm, is we start stepping back and working on some posture. So let's show that. So we might inhale, stretch up, exhale, sit it down. Now we step one foot back and we're gonna come into warrior one. So traditionally, warrior one looks like this and it's very much like that sun salutation shape, arms all the way up above the head. But again, if that doesn't work for you, you take anywhere in between. So maybe just like we did earlier, arms are slightly bent and lowered. Maybe they're all the way down at your heart. So. If you're taking a yoga class and your arms don't go all the way up, you take the shape that works for you. So this could be your warrior one. This could be your warrior one here or anywhere in between, right? Good. Then we look forward, step forward, and inhale those arms up to whatever shape works for you. Exhale to your heart. Let's take the other side just for symmetry. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bend your knees, sit your hips down. Step the right foot behind and rise up, finding your version of warrior one. So as you're practicing, maybe say you're starting here because you're really still healing and have a lot of tightness. Each week, maybe you see if you can move one more centimeter. We're moving very slowly, listening all the while to what we're feeling in our body. So never pushing to where we feel pain, but pushing to where we feel an okay stretch. We're able to maintain our breath. There's no, you know, super uh, sharp or, you know, stabbing sorts of pain sensations. You're just feeling a little gentle stretch wherever you are. And slowly over time, you'll work the arms a little higher. Maybe they'll get all the way up. Maybe they won't. It doesn't matter. The point is that you're finding your version of warrior one on any given day, right? And then we look forward, step forward, and inhale back to your version, exhaling to your heart. All right. So it's funny, you know, as you're watching this, you're probably thinking, well, that's really simple. And it truly is. It's so simple. You just listen to your body and you find the shape that works for you. All right, let's look at warrior two. So when we're opening our hips to the side, let's see some options for that. So here we go, inhale, stretching up, exhale, sit your hips down. Now we step the left foot far behind and we open our hips to the side for warrior two, our body, our upper body, our trunk is facing the side of our mat. And traditionally, the arms are all the way out to the sides, parallel to the floor. But if you've got a lot of tightness, for example, on one side of your chest, Maybe your arms don't extend all the way out. That's fine. So option number one, bring the arms just slightly forward. So they come into sort of a V shape. So that eases up on the tension that's coming across the front of your chest. Option number two is to bend the elbows a little bit. So maybe you bend the elbows and you have your arms forward a little bit. So you're getting 
a very gentle opening of the chest, but not all the way out here. So you can be anywhere along the line. And if you're super tight, you can even keep the hands right here. So you're doing warrior two legs, but keeping hands at your heart for a nice, uh, gentle, you know, position to your chest so that you're not having too much stretch. Now, depending on wherever you are in your warrior two, remember here, same thing, symmetric with the arms. But from this position, often we'll do some other poses. So we might do a reverse warrior where the back arm goes down and the front arm goes to the sky. So again here, if that top arm is your tight side, bend the elbow, maybe the hand comes behind the head, maybe it's even less, maybe it's here or here. But then when we're on the other side, if the other arm stretches plenty, you can stretch that arm all the way up. So this is where you're gonna get the fuller stretch of your good side, I hate to say good side, but I mean your less affected side. <clears throat> so, you know, when we're doing the sun salutations, we're keeping our arms symmetric. But here in these sorts of stretches, you can extend the arm that, that's able to stretch far. And then maybe the less uh, open arm has its modification here. And as always, one of the great things about yoga is we will then do the other side. So whichever side stretches more or less than the other, you'll get a balance on the other side. So you do the same things here, adjusting as you need and extending the side that's able to extend, right? So those are the options for warrior two or arms extended all the way out to the sides. You either bring them forward into a V, bend the elbows or both. And then remember, um, you know, feeling free to, in those positions, extend fully the arm that's able to do so. All right. Now, lastly, let's play with using a strap as what some of us call a limb extender. So for some positions, um, it helps to have a strap in between the two hands. If we can't get into the shape with our hands clasped, then the strap can really help. So one example of this is often in yoga, we'll take a standing position where the hands will extend above the head and then the, the hands will clasp in this sort of a shape. And often we'll take side bends or this sort of thing in this position. But if your shoulders are pretty tight, your arms probably aren't going to do that right away. So one option is to grab a strap and put a little distance between the hands. So the arms can be maybe shoulder width distance. And instead of extending up and clasping the hands, we might use the strap and extend here. You could even have the elbows bent a little bit if that's better for you. But that allows you to get your body into these shapes. So we would bend to the side, just like someone who's got their arms extended. And you get a very similar stretch through your trunk and through your ribs. And you're starting to get that stretch through your arms and shoulders, right? So use the strap and you can, you know, slowly work the arms towards straight. And you could slowly work the hands a little closer together on the strap until eventually, as your body opens up over a period of, you know, maybe this is going to take months and um, it's okay, however long it takes. Maybe your arms never get to the place where you clasp them together and that's fine. It's no big deal. This practice is about connecting to your body. It doesn't really matter what someone else's shape looks like. What matters is that you're connecting to yourself. You're working with, within your own safe range of motion to get the best benefits that you can get for you. All right, one last version. And I did a full uh, video on this one not too long ago, humble warrior arms. So another shape that we sometimes make um, in yoga is reaching behind and interlacing the fingers and rolling the chest open as we extend the arms. This is a phenomenal stretch of the front side of the body. You can see how open the pecs and the chest get, but until your body's ready for it, it's going to feel like too much. So an excellent option is to grab your strap and take it nice and wide. See how it's way wider than my hips. And then you're going to just see how much you can extend your arms behind you. Maybe you just go very slightly behind 
maybe you, I'm going to come closer so you can see this, maybe you're able to roll those elbows out and open. And it's okay if the elbows are bent. You're just exploring that shape to see what works for you. And again, as, as usual, over time, as you get more flexible, you can move the hands a little closer to one another and then start working into that shape. So always, always awesome to use a strap as a limb extender. So that's it for today. So the take home message is just, you know, listen to your body, be patient with yourself, know that your body is doing the best that it can. It's healing from a really invasive, you know, surgery and other treatments and the scar tissue takes a while to loosen up. So just be patient, be loving, um, work where you are today and, and try not to let yourself get frustrated. The openness will come with time. All right. Shoot me a question. If you uh, are having trouble with any of these positions or you have a specific area that you'd like a little more advice for, I am happy, happy to uh, to answer your questions. All right. Have an awesome day. Namaste.